Alright, thanks fish. Well, this morning the Wisconsin DNR is adding a bright yellow green dye to the Menasha Lock Canal and the goal is to make sure the invasive brown goby can't bypass the lock to enter Lake Winnebago. NBC 26's Brooke Hayes joins us live out of the locket this morning in Menasha to explain. Good morning, Brooke. Good morning, Haley. If you're walking in this area today and you notice that bright color in the water, don't be alarmed. The DNR says that the dye they're using this morning is non-toxic. It won't harm fish or humans and it won't stain your boat. Now the DNR is adding the dye to the water in the canal and the water below the Menasha Dam, which is Little Lake Butamore. They're trying to see if there are any cross connections, such as old industrialized water pipes that would allow round gobies into Lake Winnebago water. The DNR says the reason they're dying this location is because nobody knows how many pipes there might be underground and whether they are sealed or not. The DNR wants to keep the round goby from migrating upstream into the Lake Winnebago system. We really want to keep gobies out of the Lake Winnebago system because they're a predator on fish eggs and they can really disrupt the ecology of the fishery of the lake. The DNR will have staff on the ground and in a plane in the air to monitor the dye. A pilot will be looking down from above to see if any dye is coming out on the other side of the island. Now the DNR says that dye might be visible in the water throughout your holiday weekend, but the sunnier it is, the faster it's going to dilute. Again, they emphasize there is no fear with this color in the water. Reporting live from Menasha this morning, Brooke Hafes, NBC 26.